Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add React Native alerts to your app. So first off I'm going to import button and alert. Button so I can show the alert and alert because that's what I'm going to be needing to display the alert. Um, I'll also show you prompt which is available for iOS but not Android. If you're wanting something similar for Android you'll want to use the platform from React Native and then use that to... Um, if it's Android, you might want to display a modal or something with an input and then handle that differently. Um, but we'll, if you use prompt, you can sort of use that native inbuilt iOS prompt. So you go, I'm going to create a function here, which is, um, which is for two buttons. So I'm going to, have to show you two different ways because it lays out the buttons differently. Um, one with two buttons and one with three buttons. Um, and you specify the title, um, the message and the buttons when you are um, wanting to display an alert. You'll just go alert dot alert. So it's quite easy to do. Um, I'm just going to do when my cancel, I'm just going to log something because I'm not actually doing anything. A lot of the time you might not even implement this on press for cancel because you will probably just be closing the dialog. There won't be much to do. Um, typical actions for OK, it might be you're prompting the user, are you sure you want to delete? So you might want to do the actual delete action or the save. Um, so that's why you might have an on press for OK. And now I'm just going to do a free button alert. Um, it's going to be much the same, except with the third button. So I'm just calling it crazy option. And just going to give some different text on screen for that. But you can do whatever you want, obviously. So I'm going to start that up and open it on iOS. I'm going to show you this both on both iOS and Android and I'll make my code available to you after the tutorial so you can just click the link in the description. Okay so I forgot to pass this two button alert function I also forgot to set up a button for my three button alert so I'll just adjust those now and save and reload. And once that builds I can click on two button alert and for some reason my app has crashed. Okay, it seems to be, oh yep, unrecognized selector sent to instance. So I'll just highlight that for you guys. That's the key line here. So I think what that means is um, if I go back to my code, um, I've got these alert, I'm sending an object, but these are actually just um, arguments. So I should be sending an array of buttons, but other than that, the um, the title and the message don't need to be in an object, and so that was my problem there. So now you can see my alert showing, and if I open my terminal, you'll be able to see it console logging. So I've clicked OK, so it should log, do whatever OK is in your app, so that makes sense. And now I'm going to choose crazy option. You can see it's laid out differently in... Um, vertically rather than horizontally that's just because you've now taken up too much space so that's why it lays it out that way and now I'm going to show you the exact same thing on Android so for my two button alert you can see it lays them off to the side and for my three button alert so you can see that lays out differently and uses the native um, alert components and now I want to show you how you could use the prompt. I won't show you conditionally using a modal for Android. I'm just going to show you that the prompt will only work for iOS. So you go alert.prompt and once again you specify your title and your message. Um, so I'm going to want the person to enter a name and I'll just say hi whatever your name is. Um, so I've just got enter your name and then I'm just going to create this function here which will be called when OK is pressed. If cancel is pressed then nothing will be called. 
you can specify what um, buttons you want, but I just I'm happy with the OK and cancel for this, and I'm just going to rename this button to have prompt so that I know what one to click. Cool, so it opens up and it's got this little box I can type in. So that's what a prompt style alert is. And if I click cancel, it'll do nothing, no console logging. But if I click on prompt again, enter my name, and then click OK, it should console log, hi Chelsea. And you can see that there. Um, so now I'm going to show you on Android. So I'll just start it running in Android. And I'll click on that prompt. And you can see it doesn't do anything at all. And that's just because this prompt is unavailable in Android. So once again, you'd have to implement it in a different way. As there's no native prompt alert in Android. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have, please like and subscribe for more content.